Today we got our first impressions on the Jordan Luca One. Nice. Let's go. You can't play a player, baby. That's just how the game goes. All I'm focused on. Welcome back to our channel, guys. I am so excited about this one. Today we're checking out the Jordan Luca One. Luka Doncic's first basketball shoe, first signature shoe to release with Jordan Brand. This is such a clean looking model, and this one's been, people have been waiting on this one, dude. People in the basketball community have been waiting on this shoe. I mean, you saw Zion came out and he got that shoe so fast. People were like, what about Tatum? What about Luca? Well, Tatum's got one on the way. Luca is here and I love them. What do you think about these? These things are so clean. You think they're clean? I love the colorway. You like all oh, the white, just the kind of like the pure white colorway. Yeah. I don't even know what they are. It's like yeah. Legend of Seven or something like that. But uh, yeah, I mean, the shoes definitely got a nice, like a nice athletic look to it. And jo I mean, Jordan shoes have been looking really good for a while now. So, I mean, I'm not shocked by that. But I mean, as for like, what are these? These retail for $120. So that's a pretty good price point for like, especially for Jordan shoes. I think Zion's like 125 ish Is that what Zion's at? I know that uh, Westbrook's like, in that same type of price range. So 120, that's a really safe price point. That's a really good start spot to start a shoe line. Trey Young just got one with Adidas 140. So I mean, not bad as for the starting price point, but let's go ahead and bring you in here. I'm gonna have you check out the socks. Chase, what are we rocking with? Today we are rocking with our Shoe Wear Sunny Vibe colorway socks. Limited to 25, if anyone is interested. Yeah, show them are. that, show them that number to 25 right. in there. That's they not... are number to 25, no joke there. But if anyone else is interested and wants to support us, they are on our website, shoewear.co. Talk to them. Talk to them. Other than that, back honestly, to the shoe. how do they feel? Back to the shoe. Okay, so uh, they feel pretty good, honestly. I mean, the, the cushion feel, I mean, it's got a nice initial layer. We're about to get on the court here and kind of uh, explore that a little bit deeper. But as for like the appearance of the shoe, yeah, it's got like a really simple look to it, but I like it. Like if you come in here and look at the upper, you can have like some cool like little ridges. And then he's got, he's got a really cool plate logo on the tongue too. I think that's got a really nice look to it. And something, some type of like foreign text shows up on the inside part of the shoe. I have no idea what language that is. It could be his uh, his native language. What is it, Greek? No, what is it? No, no I have no idea. Uh, 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 Slo Slovenian. Oh, no, okay. is that right? Oh gosh, might be Slovenian. Where am I, that's what I'm assuming. But I bet you you know what it is. I bet you it's, on this side, it's probably translated. No, this, this side, no, this side is just brand. a Jordan that's brand. Right. Yeah, they just got Jordan branding over here. But I mean, definitely not a bad looking shoe. Feels like it's pretty light. Not bad to move around in, but now let's get some shots up. All right, so now we'll go ahead and look at these, see how they play a little bit more just from the performance side. But before I do that, let me know down in the comments what you're thinking about the Jordan Luca one. Pretty clean looking shoe. Let me know what guy, what you, who you think should get a shoe next. I think Tatum's got a really good shot at getting one with Jordan. I know that's coming out soon. What are some of your favorite, favorite athletes? Let me know down in the comments just who you want to see get a basketball shoe, get a signature line. Also, feel free to let us know if there's anything that you want to see just on our actual shoe reviews. If you haven't checked out our channel, make sure you go do that. We do performance reviews kind of like we're doing now. This is the first impressions. I'll come back down and like, I'll come back and like double down and do a deeper review on these, check out the tech specs. We do verses, all kinds of different stuff. So if you have any ideas, Ideas, just feel free to throw them down there in the comments now finally no more talking let's play so I have no idea what the cushioning is on these to be honest I have no idea but it feels it, it feels uh let's see let's stay in Jordan's line the Zion 2 this year had a uh, front loaded unit I have no idea what the tech specs are in these it doesn't say on the shoe too so that's kind of unfortunate yeah it looks like it's like got some no, random like stuff any really anything from like previous Jordans, Jordan 36, 37, no Eclipse plate, nothing like this. All no, looks yeah. like brand new tech. A whole, a whole different shoe, and it's it's its own it's its own shoe. So it's a first start to a line. So I guess I am kind of glad that it didn't copy like some type of Jordan model, like the Jordan, uh, like the uh, Jordan Eclipse or whatever whatever basketball shoes they're using right now in Jordan. Just the different stuff that they do, like the one take, just the random non-signature models. It doesn't look like any of those to me. I think it's got a pretty unique look. And this is, so here's something I haven't even shown you yet. So looking at this, these have like a shoe within a shoe type uh, little inner sleeve. So this whole white piece right here, here, let me get you on this side. This whole white piece right here is actually like an overlay. So like you can see, I can like kind of separate the shoe and you can see like inside that. This is like all an overlay and the laces feed through it, support. That's what that's all there for. Like the support on these is gonna be super nice because of that. Like whenever I'm feeling, whenever I'm like making moves, just in this right now, if I try and like do a jab, it feels really good. It feels really good, dang. How's the uh, sizing? For the Size on these, here? we got it's about, a, about a half a thumbs width left over. That's how I like my shoes. And these oh. have, 
what is, would, would you recommend like true to size you think i would say true to size on these true from what size. i can feel so far like it's a little pretty... big so if you like it tighter probably go half size no i'd say if you if you uh like it tighter you don't like a lot of leftover room just go true to size if you like more space you may want to go a half size up is it more of a narrow i'd say standard pretty standard, standard as far as like the width goes but for the traction on these that's a spot that like jordan lines are so inconsistent like here, let's look at the pattern first. What are they working with? I haven't even checked it out yet. What do they got down there? Uh, it's it's kind of clear base, but it looks like to it's me... It's like translucent. Yeah, it's it? translucent. It's but got, some, got some lines. It got looks some vertical pretty lines. standard. Nothing crazy. Nothing like uh, geometric or like AI I'm generated. glad, though. That's why I like. I hate like all the uh, like computer generated, yeah. like that stuff. These have like some nice, like sticky, a nice sticky feel to them. And you don't get that very, very consistently in Jordan's line. I, I feel like these are going to be better than the Jordan 37. The Jordan 36 had a had like a nice kind of sticky feel. The Zion 2s were like, okay. I think the Zion 2 is a little bit better than the Zion 1. But these feel like it might be the best, like uh, as far as traction goes in Jordan's line right now. Do you think the traction uh, durability of that rubber, how was it, was it soft? I don't know, like if you're playing these outdoors, you gotta know they're gonna probably lose some of their stickiness because it feels like they do got some of that. But the grooves feel pretty good. You can tell it's rubber, so I mean yeah. it's going to be pretty durable for outdoors. And 120 bucks—that's another reason. That's this pretty insane for outdoors. 120 dollars for an outdoor shoe. Whatever. No, I mean, like, that's like almost Giannis's subline is like around. No, Giannis is 90. Oh, His 90. regular lines are like 130 now. Yeah. But I mean, cushion soft enough. It's not super deep. It doesn't feel like, but the initial layer doesn't feel too bad. Not bad. That's gonna wrap up our first impressions on the Jordan Luka One. Luka Doncic's getting his basketball shoe. Let's go, baby. I like it. Luka's game is so clean, man. He's so fun to watch in the NBA. He deserves a shoe so bad. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. What other athletes you think deserve a shoe? But as for these, like, I really like some of the, like, especially the look. The look's really clean. They didn't like overdo it, but you got the Luka Doncic branding here. Really, like, that's about it. That's like all they did to this shoe. And honestly, normally you, you could almost say a lot of other shoe lines are overdone, kind of overblown whenever it comes to like signature branding. These don't have that. The support's gonna be great with that like inner sleeve thing. I'm gonna love that. The traction feels really nice. They're padded around the sock liner. Not super dense cushioning from what it like feels like initially. I guess we're gonna see how it feels, you know, in court a little bit more, but not bad at all. Yeah, so Landon, Everyone's gonna be asking you after in the comments, yes. is it worth the $120 price point? $120, I can already tell the traction is gonna play really nice. That's gonna be maybe my favorite spot about this shoe. With these overlays like that, you got some breathability too to go along with it. It feels like a, feels like a pretty light model. Support's gonna be nice. 120 bucks, this is easily gonna be worth that. But I'm gonna go ahead and like do a full breakdown of this shoe. That'll be coming out within like the next week or two. So make sure you just keep an eye out for that. That'll be rolling out here in the next few weeks. But that's gonna wrap up our first impressions on the Luca One. Till next time, peace.